Hi guys, we are continuing with our day 8 assignments for uh, InfiDQ uh, for the first module Programming Fundamentals with Python and in this particular problem we are asked to accept a text and display a string that which contains the word with the largest frequency in the text and the frequency itself. So we would be basically given a text which is separated by a space and we would have to display the word which is occurring for the maximum number of times along with the number of times it is particularly occurring. So the rules are the words should have the largest frequency obviously in case of multiple words with the same frequency then choose the word that has the maximum length. As you can see in the sem uh, sample inputs in the first sample input as you can see uh, the word like repeats for three times so it is the maximum number of uh, is the, it is the largest frequency word and we have to write the frequency as well which is three but in the second sample input which is courage is not the absence of fear but rather than the judgment that something else is more important than fear you can see that is is occurring twice and fear is also occurring twice but in the expected output we are asked to only display the let uh, since both of these words have the same frequency the rule states that we have to display only those words which have the only those only that word which has the maximum length along with the frequency of it and we are also given two assumptions that are the text does not have any special characters other than space so as I had said before that it would be a sentence which is space separated and in case multiple uh, and the text would begin with a word and there is only a single space between the words so these are the assumptions obviously and we are asked to perform case insensitive string comparisons wherever necessary. So what we would do before the text, uh, we are processing the text, we would be converting it into a same case and we would be working on that. Okay. So for example, as you can see here, courage comes with a capital C, right? But suppose in uh, the rest of the sentence, there was courage with a small c, we would still would have considered it as courage only and its frequency would be 2. So we, what we would do, we would be at converting the entire uh, string into a lowercase and then we would be working on it. Okay. So let's go to our pie chart. As we have read our problem, let's go to our pie chart and let's just start coding for this particular problem. In day 8, let's just create a new python file as a problem I guess the number was 40 uh, I have to rename it because I have apparently named it as 440 it would be 40 and let's just refactor it and so what does the python program do let's just create a function as largest underscore frequency underscore word which takes in the text as an input okay so def largest underscore frequency underscore word which takes in the text as an input so let's keep the parameter as string and uh, first what we would do since it has been told that we can perform we have to perform case insensitive operations wherever necessary we would be converting it into a same case so string would be equal to string dot lower let's just convert it into a lower case now what we have to do uh, obviously we would have to maintain the count of the words and then only we would be getting uh, the maximum count or the maximum frequency of the word and further on. So first what we have to do, we have to create a dictionary in order to maintain the accounts of the words. Before that, let's just have the list of the words which would be string.split on the basis of space 
and let's just create a dictionary that is word underscore count that would be responsible for keeping the count of the words okay so for word in the list words that we had created from string for word in words if the particular word is already present in word underscore count then we would have to increase its occurrence by one so word underscore count of word would be equal to word underscore count of word plus one we would be increasing its occurrence by one else it would be the first occurrence then therefore it would be word underscore count of word is equal to word one so this is how we would be populating a particular word underscore count dictionary now we would have to find out the maximum frequency first then according to the maximum frequency we would be finding out those words which are occurring for these uh, this particular number of times if that particular list of words is one therefore there is only one word that is occurring for the maximum number of times otherwise there are many words that is occurring for the maximum number of times and we would have to find out that particular word which has the maximum length so let's just start step by step first we would have to find out the maximum frequency that is max underscore freq freq which is basically the maximum uh, frequency of any word that is occurring in the diction, diction uh, in the particular sentence so it would be max of word underscore count dot values since in the values we are storing the frequency so maximum of that particular list of frequency would be giving me the maximum max underscore frequency or max underscore freak in this case and then uh, we would also create a list as max underscore freq comma words this would be keeping uh, the list of those words which are occurring for the maximum underscore frequency times that is ma max underscore freq times okay so let's iterate through our dictionary for word in word underscore count if word underscore count of word is equal to equal to max underscore freak then we would be appending it to our list as max underscore freak underscore words dot append we would be appending this particular word here okay and now uh, we have got uh, suppose we have more than one words that is occurring for the maximum number of times so we would be getting it as the length of the list so if the length of the list is equal to equal to one that means there is only one word which is occurring for the maximum number of times so and then we can just return the uh, word as it is so if the length of the Uh, max underscore freak underscore words is equal to equal to one we would be returning a string that is max underscore uh, freak underscore words zero in order to find out the first in order to find out the word we would be indexing it with zero plus there would be i guess in the output they are yeah it is space separated along with the uh, frequency and since it is an integer we can't directly append it to a, a string so we would have to type convert it to a string first so this is how uh, if a particular word occur uh, only one word occurs for the maximum number of times has to be treated else what we have to do we would have to keep a check for the maximum length and also we have to keep a check for the word which is uh, of the maximum length and is occurring for the maximum number of times since the word 
words which are occurring for the maximum number of times is saved in maximum underscore max underscore freak underscore words we must not worry about the frequency now now we must only ab worry about finding the word which occurs the uh, which has the maximum length in this particular list so let's create a let's create a variable uh, as max underscore length which is equal to zero initially and max underscore word which is equal to a null string initially so now we would be iterating through the list that is max underscore freak underscore words and we would be finding out the word which is uh, of the maximum length so for word in max underscore freak underscore words we would be uh, if the length of this particular word is greater than maximum underscore length then we would be uh, changing the value of maximum underscore length and we would be changing the value of max underscore word as well so if the length of this particular word is greater than max underscore length then we would be updating the value of max underscore length by the length of this word and we would be also saving the max underscore word as this particular word and after iterating through all of the words we would be obviously getting the word which is of the maximum length and now we would be returning the max underscore word with space separated and we would be returning the max underscore frequency as we had returned in the previous uh, if clause but always keep in mind this else is only in order to find out the maximum length it does a uh, maximum length word which is in that particular list but this does not have to do anything with the frequency so we are always printing max underscore free, uh, freq as the frequency of the uh, word which is occurring uh, which is occurring for the maximum number of times okay so i guess this is for our function let's just call our function and see what we are getting as our output so print largest underscore frequency underscore word and let's just see the two test cases that have been provided by the nptq here let's just copy this and paste it here and run our code so here we get, so we are getting like space 3 so which is equal to our uh, which is the same as our expected output and now for the second case that is the when both uh, two or more words have uh, the maximum frequency and we have to return the word which have which has the maximum length let's see if it is working for that particular test case also as in this particular example is and fear both are occurring for the maximum number of times that is two and since is has a lesser length than fear therefore we must be returning fear and two let's run our code and as you can see that we are uh, getting our output as fear and two which is same as the expected output and we have successfully satisfied all the test cases that have been provided in, uh, provided in this particular problem so thanks for watching this video guys i hope so this helped you and see you in the next one